Hello people, I am Bharat Acharya. Welcome to our third video in this introduction to 8051. Here we are going to focus on the I.O. part of 8051. So 8051 is your microcontroller. You know its processor now. You are familiar with its memories. You know the memories can be expanded. Now let's go to I.O. 8051 has got four 8-bit I.O. ports. Okay, every word over here needs to be understood. Four, because there are four ports. They are called port zero, port one, up to port three. Okay, I've drawn three for the lack of space, but there are four. Eight bit ports. You understand? In the previous lecture, why I made you understand what is an eight bit number and what is a 16 bit number? You'll be using these references all throughout. So instead of being confused every time, once for all, I wanted you to know what is eight bit and what is 16 bit. So now you know it. So it has four ports. They are all eight bit ports. And they are I.O. ports. I.O. ports means input as well as output. So they can all do input operations. They can all do output operations. Or you can keep one as an input port, one as an output port. For a keypad, you need an input port. Correct? Keyboard is an input device. For a mouse, you need an input port. For the monitor, you need an output port. For a touch screen, you need a bidirectional port. Because your touch screen is your input also and your output also. Now you understand what's the meaning of input output ports. Students say, sir, what can we do with these ports? infinite possibilities. These are your tools. If I have to relate a microprocessor with a human being, if you become a microprocessor or microcontroller, okay, don't take it seriously, just understand the point. These are your hands. Like you do things with your hands. This is what the programmer does things with. Okay, give you a simple example. Take one port. A port is eight bits. That means it has eight lines, correct? I connect those eight lines to eight LEDs over here, okay? Now, I send a number FF, what happens? All LEDs are on, okay? Assuming active high output. I send the number 00, zero. all LEDs are off. Now, let's do some magic. I send the number 01H, what is 01? Tell me the binary form, come on, I've taught you how to do this. 01 is 0000, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, So what do you understand? One LED is on. I rotate this number. There is an instruction called rotate. You can rotate left, right, however you want. I rotate this number and send it again. When I rotate this, this one comes here. Everything else rotates. So the next LED is on. I rotate it, send it again. The next LED is on. By now you got the picture. I can create running lights. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Rotate in this direction, then rotate in this direction. Then just put two of them on. How do you do that? You send the number mm, 81. What is 81? 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. The last two are on. Then the next two, then the next two, then the next two, then these two, then these two, then these two, then these two. Do you understand? You can create a fancy light effect within two lectures or three lectures of learning AD51. All you need to do, by now you know your ports. You need to know how to put a number in a port, how to rotate it, how to cause a small delay and how to put it in a loop. And that's it, you can create these fancy effects. Open your horizon. Instead of lights, if these are showers, you've seen them. If not physically in videos on YouTube, you've seen these fancy things. You get these musical fountains, right? One by one, one by one, one by one, they pop, they pop back. You uh, see decorative lights. Next time you see that, you go to a nightclub, you go to a stadium and you see those fancy lights. Don't look at them like a layman and just say, wow. Yeah, you be wowed by it, that's nice. You look at them and think of the programming inside. You see any big stadium, any big cricketing event or any sport event, you see those fancy firecracker shows all over the stadium. What are those? Port lines connected to those firecrackers. I'm sure you realize no one's just lighting it and running away. It's all computer controlled. And by sending ones and zeros, you can create beautiful effects over there. And all of that is done by ports. You can do even more things. You can take eight lines of a port and connect it to eight keys. You press a key, the line will be one. That input comes to it. So it's an input port, right? You take, you take the next port, eight lines, and connect it on LEDs. You take the next port and connect it to a sound box. That sound box produces different sound for every input that you send, every different number. If you are sharp, thinker, if you're a sharp thinker, you should realize we just made a piano, right? Eight keys. 
every key you press first of all the light of that key will glow so you'll have that echo back you'll know which key is being pressed for every key that you press a different number will enter the port that number you simply have to send it to your port which is connected to the sound box there you go for every key you press a different sound will be produced you press two keys a different sound will be produced because a different number goes into that sound box are uh, you understanding i've just started i've just started there is no end to what can be done using these ports are you clear you can connect sprinklers on one port you connect water sprinklers on the other port you connect temperature sensors there you made your fire alarm of course there is an a to d converter that's required to sense the temperature and read but the basic idea is eight lines will be used to input the temperatures eight lines will be used to fire the sprinklers so once you notice a particular temperature is going off it's gone above a particular point you fire the sprinkler and there you made your heat uh, your fire alarm system and so on so this is what you do with ports ports can be used by the programmer to input information from the real world and to cause actions into the real world are you clear so they can be used for input and output that's about the ports so there are four ports what's the advantage of having four ports lots of lines look here come on i'll show you something if you it's a big classroom we hold 200 students in this room it's huge if you count all the fans acs and tube lights all the electricals of this room it's still not 32 four ports gives you 32 lines if i connect if i can remove this entire switch panel and just put a smart panel over here put an 8051 behind which will control all the lights fans acs have mood set up based on the mood different lights will be on different fans will be on they based on the number of students if i have a student counter attached the ac units will automatically come on and so on are you understanding i'm just telling you the possibilities of what a programmer can do using ports i hope you got a point now the next lecture we're going to look at some additional io features there is timers there is serial port of course cannot explain all of them in detail this is an introduction but i'll tell you what they are so that you have enough intrigue to learn them further okay <laughs>